detectives with the description of the suspect. The detectives are working to determine if there is a connection to any of the other cases. This is also an open investigation. The third case is from May 2019, and it involved Malaysia Booker, who was found shot and killed in the 7200 block of Valley Glen. This, too, is an open investigation. The investigation has revealed the following similarities in these cases. All of the victims are transgendered females. Two of the victims were in the area of Spring and Lago prior to the offenses. Through the course of these investigations, it has been determined that two of the victims got into a car with someone and one victim allowed someone into their car. At this time, we have not established a direct link between these cases. We will work with our federal partners to determine if any of these offenses should be considered hate crimes. In conclusion, as part of our LGBTQ outreach, the department will participate in a town hall meeting on Thursday, May 23rd, 2019 at Resource Center, 7550 Cedar Springs Drive at 6.30 p.m. The department is asking for the public's assistance in closing these three cases. If anyone has information, please contact Crime Stoppers at 214-373-8477. Thank you. Two of the three are homicides, you said? Was Ms. Booker's a homicide? Correct. The first one was a homicide as well? The first one was also a homicide. We have, we have a transgender who was shot and killed in the 7100 block of Gay Glen Drive. That's the first case. The second case involved a transgender female who was stabbed multiple times. However, that victim survived the stabbing. And the third victim was Miss Malaysia Booker. We have two murders and one aggravated assault. And how far did that date back to the first one? In the, 2017? The first case I referenced was 2017. I would like to go back at, at this time and give some context to what I'm talking about. In July of 2017, a transgendered female was remains were found in Dallas in a field. At this time, that case is being listed as an uh, undetermined uh, how the death occurred. Okay, so 2017, the woman who was shot and killed was October of 2018. Correct. Okay. Not pulled into a car. Okay. Got into a car. Got into a car. Correct. And which are which? Um, at Spring and Lego, the offense that occurred at Spring and Lego, I'm sorry, the nexus of the offense at Spring and Lego, one of the victims got into a car with someone, and another, it matter, one of the victims allowed someone into their car. The third victim on Gay Glen, someone got into the car with that person. The woman who was stabbed, she's been able to give you all information about her attacker. Yes. Can you share any of that with us today? The, the attacker is described as a black male. He's, a, he's also described as a large black male. Um, I believe he's uh, driving a vehicle that's silver in color, gray in color. That's all, that we, all the information that we have at this time on the suspect. We're working with that complainant, that victim, to get as much information as possible so we can put out uh, to the public. Spring and Lego, East Dallas. East Dallas is not far from this Locate Program Center 30 where Ms. Booker was found in that, in that area. Correct. So, so I, want, I want to go back to the, the commonality of these three cases. Is, was there some indication that Ms. Booker was in Spring and Lego location? That's what I'm a little confused on. Based on where she was found versus where she may have been at 5, 4 o'clock in the morning, that kind of at this time, I don't want to get into any specifics regarding that open uh, murder investigation. I can say with uh, some certainty that there is a nexus between the corner of Spring and Lego and two of these offenses that have occurred. One more question, then. What would be that? I mean, can you, is that just a location here at Spring and Lego, or was, were they do all involved in the same activity? Were they meeting somebody through a website, or what, what was what were they doing? Again, I don't want to get into the specifics of 
what may or may not have been occurring at the corner of Spring and Lego, but we do know that Spring and Lego is the location that immediately preceded two of these offenses. And then just one more, just a, as a follow up, Major, on the, the message to the community, although they, we understand the, uh, the, the connection between being transgender yes. and these victims, what's your message to the community about this? Because it, it, this is a wide, yeah, this is a wide period of time. We have 23 murders in, just in this month alone. So that, that's what we're trying to get a better understanding. Is there anything to suggest other than that fact that those victims are transgender in that location that there may be some connection? That's what I want to get a sense of. At this time, the department is actively looking into whether or not these uh, assaults, murders, have any connection to one another. At this time, we have not been able to draw an affirmative link between these offenses. We're working to see if there is, there is any link. The, the message that I would think that the department would want to get out to the community is everybody needs to be vigilant and pay attention to their surroundings when they're out in public and, and use ex caution when uh, interacting socially. Thanks, Major. Thank Any other updates that we have for now, we all post on blogdtv.com. Uh, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. Can you spell Lego for me real quick? L-A-G-O-W. Okay. Oh. Spring and Lego, that was the second one. That was the one for Lego. Correct. Okay. All the trans victims, black female? Were they murdered? Yes. Just a small correction on the address for resources, 5750. So I have a couple of flyers um, for you all. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sorry. Is this uh, event uh, in direct relation to? Not at all. Okay. Not. It was already planned. Yes, since last year. Okay. I am the uh, LGBTQ liaison for the Dallas Police Department, and that was something that I had began planning since last year.